Hi, welcome to part 3 of our tutorial series on Jack's RS RESTful Web Services. Today we're going to talk about how we can make our services dynamic. Now there's a couple of ways we can go about that. One way is to, path a variable, uh, to pass a variable on the path and another one is to add query parameters to our request. Okay, you may remember from the last lesson that we created an employees resource and we had one method that responded to HTTP gets that simply returned a list of all employee names, in this case a hard query string. Um, now we want to make that a little bit more interesting, so this is a query, this is a uh, HTTP request and it returns Martin and John. I'm using the advanced REST client app in this demo. So let's say we want to make it a little bit more interesting and pass in an ID. At the moment we get a response of nothing. There is no service. We get a 404. So I want to filter our employees by ID where the ID is some variable. In this case 213. Let's see how we implement that. So we create another get service. Um, public string get by ID uh, string my ID and let's just return the ID itself my ID okay we need to go a bit further than this uh, first of all we need to define the path uh, the path and we said it would have an ID but it's also going to have the dynamic part so how do we do that we curly braces and we give it some uh, some identifier, so fire uh, identifier, and we also need to tell the Jacks runtime that we want inside our variable my ID the value that's passed as our, our variable on the path parameter. So path param so Jacks on this annotation. It's called identifier now. Our variable my ID contains the value passed in the request. In this case, let's see, run on server. Uh, so we get excellent. So I just echoed back our ID. We got 200 OK. So what else might we want to do? We may want to sort our employees by name, for example, um, by passing query parameters. So typically if it's a resource uh, filter, i.e. by name, by ID, by something like that, where we actually want to return a resource, this is where we define the path parameters. But if I want to perform some additional behavior, then I'll pass them as query parameters. In this case, sorting, maybe uh, maybe you can add the version number, uh, and version number equals, etc. Well, Implement our sort by method. Uh, let's go back to the code. It's a get again. Uh, get. Oh no, let's just. Let's just. Uh, we already have the method to get the employees. So we want to annotate this class with a query param. And that parameter is going to be called. Is it sort by? Inside quotes. And we want to pass it into a variable called sorted by something like that. Okay, and now let's just echo back um, sorted by a, a value. And we'll run that on the server. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we picked up the sorted by name. In this case, name uh, sorted by address. Okay, you get the idea. Uh, there's one additional thing I forgot to mention is that uh, when we pass path, path parameters, we can tell the Jack's runtime that we want it to match a specific uh, regular expression. So maybe we want the ID to be 0 to 9, uh, series of characters 0 to 9. And what will happen is if we pass in an invalid uh, invalid ID, then it should give back a 404 error message. 404 response. Uh, run on server. Let's try that. So we're going to get it by ID equals 1213. That's fine. Have ID equals 
A, B, C. And we got 404 not found. Perfect. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial. Uh, look forward to seeing you in the next one.